QUT has branded itself as the university for the real world. So our brief is to make sure that we teach the students to use the equipment themselves and they come out of us at a degree, high degree with us with skills that they can take. Um, so a lot of places they come in, they hand their sample to somebody, a technician who analyzes it and gives them back the results. But for us, we teach them and then set them free. So when the students come to us, they fill out like a form and on the form they indicate what their project is and what techniques will be useful to them. And it usually means that um, they want to do some XRD and some particle analysis and some XPS, for instance. Um, so it's really important for us to integrate it um, into the whole picture of their project so that they can, we can serve them to get the best combination of techniques to answer their research question. The automated sample transfer means we can train lots of students and we don't risk them dropping their samples in the inside the vacuum all the time. And also the queue, the analysis queue, that's really, really useful because that means they can queue up their jobs and they can go away or we can go away. We can run overnight, we can run over the weekend um, and you don't have to physically be there. Every day something new walks through the door that we haven't thought of. We do get a lot of people doing nanomaterials. Nanomaterials are a big thing at the moment, um, you know, especially with regards to batteries and catalysts and, you know, medical um, type devices. Also at QUT, we've got a lot of people doing um, bio scaffolding type work, so 3D printing and characterising those things. Over the last 12 months, we've trained something like 80 or 90 users and they're all running their projects. Some of them are done, um, but lots of them are still running. So if you've got 90 people who are um, able to access a technique that they didn't have before, that's really big. It's kind of isolated in terms of a user community in Australia, even um, though we do have other Australian users. There's only one other in Queensland and the next nearest are in Sydney and Melbourne, so thousands of kilometres away. So it's just really important to us to be able to access a community of users. So that's partly why I've come to the meeting, partly so that I can share some of our work and some of our way of doing things and meet people um, who are doing stuff that we're doing.